I hope I hope just a millisecond of that got into the <laughs> Ryan was going and spinning the fidget. I was spinner. trying to match the pitch. Can you change the pitch of your? S- yeah. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody! Oh, Welcome God. back to another episode <laughs> of Jump on the Bat Wagon. Yay! We're gonna play. That's that's we don't. That's a song that we play sometimes as a funny joke. Get with it. Get ready for it to happen again. Right now. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. I suck. <laughs> uh, this is the show where we watch through the entire DC animated universe. The whole damn, the whole heaven damn thing. <laughs> in what order, Jamie? From start to finish in the controversial air date order. Oh my gosh. This is how the episodes aired originally on television. Was Fox th- adults. Is that like your smartphone? <laughs> <laughs> is that like your your pe- your is that like your flip phone? Are you open up, connect to them there internets. Play yourself some bad man. Let's age ourselves and talk about talk about like BlackBerry and <laughs> yeah. flip phone internet. Yeah, uh, where if you if you connected to the internet on on the phone that was technically capable of doing so, <laughs> uh, you would run up your phone bill hundreds of dollars in about five minutes. Yeah. Those <laughs> are the you good just old days. Constantly do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is uh, this is yeah. We want to watch. I want Brian to see these episodes. It's like a person of the '90s would, because Why? Brian is seeing them for the first time ever. Go. I'm getting back on track. Yeah. Okay. Today we're watching "Beware the Gray Ghost," which is about tigress. Right. Even though in between, I already told you tigress, it's not. But yeah, you did say that, and I swore, but I'm pretty sure it's still going to be true. <laughs> I swore. I was so <laughs> mad. I <laughs> swore right there in the kitchen. What was that accent? <laughs> I don't know anymore. It's sort of Alfred. I don't know. Uh, this episode, Beware the Grey Ghost, originally aired Wednesday, November 4th, 1992. No skipped days from the last episode. Sweet. Uh, at 4.30 p.m. on uh, Fox Adults. This was the 18th <laughs> episode produced and the 32nd to air. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Well, I like how we, you're, you always grade like, oh, they as if they're like sitting in the studio like throwing episodes at the wall like maybe this one will get near the oh shit 18 and 32 that's not close at all don't give Paul Dini the darts anymore <laughs> his aim is terrible we say it's bad like the distance between the, yeah if anyone's listening that doesn't know I guess like these episodes are obviously produced in a certain order, like you know, one, two, three, four, five, etc. But then they're air, yeah, they're they're produced in the order they're produced. You would say, <laughs> but then they're aired very not that way uh, for unknown reasons. <laughs> once uh, once in a while there'll be oh it's Catwoman because Batman Returns that makes sense. Other times it'll be like. Why is the 18th episode airing 30 seconds? <laughs> you know? Like I mean, this sometimes one. you just get Robin appearing out of, out of nowhere. Nowhere. Yeah. That would have happened regardless. Yeah. Uh, anyway, this episode's teleplay written by Garen Wolf and Tom Ruger with story by Dennis O'Flaherty and Tom Ruger. <laughs> you got to say it in that oh, do you? pitch. I don't know. I probably said it wrong even. Uh, directed by Boyd Kirkland. Music by Carl Johnson. And animation by Spectrum. The. Not the Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> <laughs> you had that look in your eyes. It's just because it it's starts su- with an S. I know, it Sunrise <laughs> yes, is the actual yes. one, but I feel like I have to just uh, get a play into <gasps> it. Any anime, Anyone that's not Acom, that's the that's the, <laughs> the Cowboy Bebop people? Or, no. or like... D- D- Studio, Studio Junio. Yeah. Got Which it. was the last one that we watched. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go watch the episode. Then we're gonna come back and talk all about the ins the and episode. outs, all about the. This episode. is what we do on the show. That's what we do on the show. We Brian. talk about stuff. What is this episode thirty two? You got? You don't know how we do the friggin' podcast? We yet? play really short clips on the soundboard, like that. Oh, well, that was even shorter than I anticipated. We make we make yappy jokes because we are yappy dudes. We're the yappy dudes. Episode one. Yeah, listen, to episode one. Woof. If you're jumping in on this episode. Uh, we're going to, we made a pact before the episode 
to yeah. tr- uh, bl- we ripped our hands open, clean out, cl- skin gone. <laughs> we spat in the skeleton <laughs> hand, <laughs> shook hands. We said, "Say the magic words." We we did a Yu Gi Oh Joker said, pose. Bingo. We said bingo, and there it was. The packs. To be slightly more descriptive this episode of what the hell we're doing at any given moment. Uh, on the off chance that somebody is starting <laughs> off listening <laughs> to the first like, episode, they're like, oh, there's a lot here. Episode 32. What, what am I missing? We're just we like, just jump we're right like yappy dudes. Welcome back. They're, yeah. We said other. Bazinga. W- is this hip hop or books? <laughs> books are hip- we didn't do that last episode. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> we totally for forgot to. Yeah. yeah, we got a lot of running gags. We got a lot of uh, funny, funny, funny memes. And if you're one of the OGs, you get them you all. You get it. I feel like that's true of many podcasts. It's hard to separate myself from just talking things I know, you know? (laughs) Words come out mouth, say do them words. (laughs) B, shall we watch me with a gray ghost? All right, let's, let's do it. Here's your answer. Take it and go, please. I used to admire what the Grey Ghost stood for. I'm not the Grey Ghost. I can see that now. And welcome back, listeners, to the pod. Nailed it, Jamie. <laughs> yes, I'm Jamie. You are Jamie. We just watched, um, what was the episode called? The Grey... The RC Car Chase. Hey, what the hell's going on over here? Oh, uh, 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 who are you, strange person? Who told you, Dylan Pollock, that you could be a <laughs> I'm not Dylan Pollock's sock puppet That's account. That's what Dylan Pollock would say. Uh, gotta go! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your contribution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now that we got that out, of, that piece of shit out of here. <laughs> Thanks, Dylan. Kelly. Bye. Yeah, we're back from the thing. Classic. Us. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I was hoping you would just do it multiple times. I forget that pressing it again stops it. Like, that's as fast as it can go. Oh, well. Anyway, <laughs> hi. Hi. I, I, I was gone. You were gone. For, I'm back. And with you're the back. Vengeance. Why didn't you watch that episode? I didn't feel like it, you know. Yeah, you just know it already, and you're just kind of done. <laughs> From out of the darkness comes <laughs> the gray ghost. <laughs> Starring Simon Trent. <laughs> See? <laughs> you get it. Uh, it's me, Adam West. You didn't guess that it was Adam West until about halfway through the episode. I feel like I, considering I got it while he wasn't talking, I was like, yes. Oh, Adam West. <laughs> you said, because Kevin Conroy, Batman, obviously, but he was also voicing Thomas Wayne. Yes. And then you, when Simon Trent started talking, you were like, is that also Kevin Conroy? Said, no, but you pr- you'll probably guess who it is. And then yeah. he said several sentences. I'm staring at you like, do you know what it is yet? And you're like, no, I wasn't listening. And then you sat there <laughs> like mentally ignoring the next 30 seconds of the episode. And then you just, is it Adam West? <laughs> like, <laughs> you, he wasn't saying anything else during that time. You just re-listened to what he'd already said in your memory. <laughs> You apparently have a really good, extremely short-term memory, but not not a long-term whatsoever. You can't, you're like, please, God, no, don't ask me what happened 10 episodes ago. But, oh, it was Adam West based on nothing. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know we were having quite the conversation on neurodivergence today, and I think that is just a key point of, like, yeah. weird connectivity that yeah. my brain can just be I like, can't oh, explain it. Yeah. I'm just going to focus on all of this. What is that sound? Oh, it's Adam West. <laughs> What's that? that sound <laughs> mooing 
<laughs> oh, bring another, back a JTS entertainment video. There's another JTS entertainment video people should watch called What's That Sound? One through five. I think there's five. There's of a them. lot of them. Five or six. Yeah. 16. No. Five or 16. What happened in Beware the Grey Ghost? Oh, don't ask me that. No, I, I can't remember, possibly. Um, <laughs> quite possibly the coolest intro to any episode I've seen thus far. Mm-hmm. I was smitten. It was all black and white and like wide angle lenses. Cool and camera angles rotating and yeah, people fighting. Yeah. Lots of, there was like lots of art happening. And <laughs> art uh, was just all over this episode. Drawings of characters <laughs> by humans with pencils. <laughs> Music going on in the background. <laughs> Playing you with instruments. It. Yeah. <laughs> um, I know what you're saying. Though. It was a very pretty episode. It was a very pretty episode. Uh, so to synopsize. Yes. Um, we start out and we're learning about Bruce's favorite TV show as a child, The Grey Ghost, which is not Tigress. You lied to me. Yeah, I told you it was Tigress. That's what happened. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, you are. Me too, though. (laughs) (laughs) The saddest trombone. (laughs) Um, This is kind of hard to explain. Basically... Um, there's a bad guy who is ripping off the actions of a villain in the gray ghost the and mad bomber. Yeah. The mad ripping off the action of the mad bomber, kind of reliving it in re- real world Gotham. Mm-hmm. Bruce gets the idea and needs to enlist the help of the gray ghost actor, Simon Trent. And, um, he's hesitant at first. Batman talks him into it. They, track down the ne'er-do-well who's <laughs> who's bruce tim yeah <laughs> very pretty obviously bruce i just tim personify yeah did you actually kn- you can't have known what bruce tim's voice sounded like at least you were like oh who is this and I was it, like, was, bruce tim- it was the, was it the look of him that gave it away or did, the, the look was something the the it wasn't a real like voice actor it sounding voice it wasn't a <laughs> yeah. voice actor yeah it was it was the I'm sorry, Bruce. Sorry, if you're Bruce listening. Tim, you'll never hear this, but <laughs> it was like the community theater variation yeah, of like voice acting. And it was just like that is it just seemed so not right that yeah. it had to have been somebody on the, <laughs> the production crew, staff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Bruce Tim just kind of made the most sense yeah. for whatever reason. It's funny because Bruce Tim will pop up a handful of times as like characters of this level or less. Okay. Uh, and he's like the only one, he must be like the only one on the crew with a like screen actors guild, like union or something oh, like that because yeah. it happens so often. I mean, it's not like really often, but it happens often enough that there's like, why isn't anyone else doing voices? Yeah. Uh, and I, cause there's, there's even, there's an episode quite a while from now. It's one of the final Batman, the animated series episodes where there's a like movie director on set with a megaphone and it's modeled after Dan Reba, but it's not voiced by Dan Reba because he couldn't oh. voice a character. Like it, it has to do with the union. I'm pretty sure because it's like, Oh, why do you get to voice a character and not be paid or something? Well, I have to do this. You know, I don't know how it works, but you know what I'm saying? I know what Bruce you're saying. Tim. Bruce Tim, man. The end. This is a voice actor. Yeah. Did we the end the synopsis? I don't know. They stop him, right? Yeah. yeah the okay. end. <laughs> Batman. This is the if, what, what? 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 What do we do next, Brian? Here oh, on the podcast, what happens on the next? podcast the, after I give my really broken synopsis yes, from someone who's never who's from watched who's it never the first seen it. time, just just yeah. the once and yeah. with a not great memory all the time, <laughs> except for picking out Adam West as yes. doing voiceover work. <laughs> Uh, the next thing would be to give the official synopsis yes. of this episode this from this was in the TV guide. If, if you, you know what that up. is, yeah, <laughs> that's what old people used to look up TV shows with. It goes like this: Batman realizes that a pattern of recent bombings in Gotham is based on an episode of an old television series featuring his favorite boyhood hero, the Gray Ghost. Seeking information, Batman visits the actor who played the Grey Ghost, only to discover that over the years he's become a victim of typecasting and has not been able to find other work. Though the Grey Ghost is reluctant to help Batman at first, he has a change of heart and appears at the scene of the next bombing just when Batman needs him. 
As Batman continues his investigation with the Grey Ghost, the actor begins to see parallels between Batman and the Grey Ghost's methodology and comes to realize what an important part he must have played in Batman's early life. Not only does this revelation give the actor a new sense of worth, but when he and Batman succeed in capturing the mysterious bomber, the ensuing publicity completely revitalizes the Grey Ghost's sagging career. <laughs> so it's another, this is every single thing yeah, that happened it sure in the show. Is. We that's that's been the thing so far, dear listener, is most of these will just tell you every moment of the episode why I ever watch it if you've read this. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. then Tigris became a guy and it did the thing and the whole thing exploded and then Tigris walked away and he said this and the the poem happened. You know how it goes. I was there. Yeah. What so you <laughs> We we had uh, Kimmy, I mean Dylan Pollock, uh, <laughs> watching with us, and she was like enjoying it and thinking. And okay, so you <laughs> you you two had different reactions <laughs> to the episode. You were really excited at the start because it was a really artsy, cool uh, interpretation, super heartfelt. Yeah, and and yeah, and you were like, oh, about you were really sad for Simon Trent about like, especially when you realized it was Adam West, like, Oh, there's parallels with actual Adam West and all this stuff. Yeah. And then as soon as it was revealed that RC cars were blowing up (laughs) the stuff, you were like, fuck this episode. This got way worse so fast. It was, you said it was going to be your number one on the top 10. And then it, it was not after a while. Yeah. Like towards the start of it, I was like, Oh my God, this is like going to be like a top three. (laughs) Mm-hmm. And I was just like absolutely sold. And then it just gets like really comical. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it, it just, um, I don't personally think there's a drop in quality because of the cars. I think it's just, you probably expected it to be something more diabolical or whatever. Just the well, fact that it's toys. I know that like, like a, toys is like, is the guy, I don't even know what the bad guy's name is. Uh, I think in just in the episode they said Ted at some point. It's Ted Kendrick. Ted Kendrick. Uh, on the credits, he's Ted Dimer. I don't think they ever really said. Oh, okay. Name. If they did, I didn't catch. Um, it. And like it makes sense with his persona and everything, and that's fine. Yeah. But like, it, when I say comical, like <laughs> they're having a car chase. Yeah. With the Batmobile and like six RC cars. And the car they're gaining the, on us. Yeah. The RC cars are gaining on the Batmobile, the jet propelled fucking car. <laughs> and it's just like and they they slip on the chocolate hot sauce and then <laughs> they they fly into other buildings and cars and explode they're and destroy. Just like destroy and it. then Gray goes, "We did it, partner." Yeah. And they drive away. <laughs> Yeah, hey, you killed hundreds of people. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Like for whatever reason, that like that sequence is weird. Yeah, it I just agree. yeah that really brought it down. And then again, it was one of those like the ending just felt like kind of a rushed. You yeah. know the they stop him and uh, yeah, like <laughs> we've talked about before. Like in the strange secret of Bruce Wayne, Bruce Wayne grabs a keyboard and hits the computer once and it gets engulfed in flames and explodes. Yeah. Less than that happens in this one. Like a handful of papers fall on it. It's like and a it, book falls yeah. on this keyboard. And it just Which, immediately on fire. By the way, yeah. like almost the exact same spot that the, the bad guy Ted was like smashing a Batman doll yeah, on the when thing. When he was mad with, like, and lots nothing of force. was happening. Yeah, yeah. And like that's fine, but then Maybe a book he lands got it on to, it. Maybe to uh, one hit point yeah. and then the <laughs> book fell on it and that was it yeah i think i think the computer like had like a crit fail roll on that one or something <laughs> yeah. yeah and then yeah they do they do just like capture him and stop him in the last one minute of the episode yeah pretty quickly and kind of anticlimactically like yeah. his whole like oh his shop blows up as if the guy can't get rc cars and dynamite <laughs> again else. well i mean i guess he's going to jail or arkham or whatever yeah so, but they don't yeah. stay very long yeah <laughs> you're right just, just pop else. by yeah. for a visit yeah I mean, Hello, Joker. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> I think if if Adam West wasn't voicing the Grey Ghost in this episode, it would probably be lower on my favorites list. Yeah. Uh, that that for me, like, really, it, I don't ever think of this episode as one of my favorite episodes. Like, it's not one I will rewatch if I'm just like, ah, oh, that was such a good episode. I got to watch that again. Yeah, but it's elevated by the fourth wall breaking nature of a lot of the stuff. Like there is 
the obvious stuff of Adam West playing Batman and and that being like the inspiration and all this stuff. And he was on an old TV show and now he's all washed up old man, blah, blah, blah. But then there's like Batman having his uh, like memorabilia section of the Batcave yeah. <laughs> of Grey Ghost stuff. Uh, and, and the Bruce Tim character being kind of like a Bruce Tim parallel also of yeah, like, yeah but I just want to do this thing. Like I'm just going to copy the old stuff or whatever <laughs> and stuff like that. Not that that's all the, not that Batman, the animated series is constantly copying the sixties TV show or something, but no, it, there's just a lot of stuff going on that I didn't really, I, I not thought about it in a while. How much, how much of it is like, Oh, obviously, you know, he can't get a hold of the old, things because old tv shows wouldn't have been like preserved as well or whatever you said something about doctor who that happening to it yeah and i i feel like before i <laughs> before i commit yeah. super hard to my to my answer i i remember hearing that there was um like there was back in the day you know like archiving wasn't a thing space yeah. wasn't really like space was at a premium and um a lot of old TV shows were just kind of like lost to history. Yeah. Things were destroyed. And I guess that happened with the first like few seasons of Doctor Who. I think and that I was happened. That was a throwback to that no. or something. It's probably, it's probably a common thing. Like I'm pretty sure that happened with Sesame Street too, because oh, really? the HBO Max has like all 50 something seasons of Sesame Street, but the first like 10 or so seasons just have a couple episodes each on there. Huh. And I was like, Oh, did they like lose the rights to those somehow? And then looking it up, it's like, no, those are just gone yeah. forever. Like no one can have, which is cool to know about, like we're watching Batman the animated series on Blu-ray. Yeah. Uh, just like the great ghost Blu-ray at the end of the episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a blue case, but it's just like an unintentional <laughs> fake trivs. Yeah. That's actually where the design for Blu-ray came from. Oh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we call trivia that we make up. It's not real. <laughs> Get with it. New listener. You right now. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, it's cool that like this show, the, this Batman cartoon has been preserved as well as it has. Yeah. It's not like, it's not that old. It's like not, 90s, no. I think, is a little bit different. Like the original Doctor Who was 60s. Yeah, but I guess I'm thinking the time between the original Adam West Batman show and this episode is probably oh. around the same amount of time as this episode to now. Probably even less time. <laughs> so um, that would have been about it's like 30 early years. early 70s to it's about early the same. 90s. It's been 30 years since this episode that we just watched, but about 20 years since between the two Batman shows. I think, so. I, mean, I guess I don't know the timeline yeah. of the Adam West thing. Adam West. Well, it Batman. started in 66, but I think it ran oh, okay. to early seventies. Okay. So either way, the, what I was making the comparison for was just that like the, not necessarily the way that it would have been kept in a vault or whatever. Like I'm sure that it, that this Batman show was better kept but, yeah, but just the the span of time being what it was that like maybe some of the, you know, that era of the, like fifties and sixties shows were just not taken care of because who why would I ever need to keep that it, it broadcast that people got paid the end no one knew they wanted the HD four K Blu Ray re release <laughs> <laughs> in twenty thirty you know right so, yeah like I'm sure like the Twilight Zone is probably just lost to time or something yeah stuff like that so. It's in the Twilight Zone, you might say. <laughs> Let's talk about the cast. Jimmy, can we talk about the cast? We always do the cast section as a whisper. Yeah. It's a tradition. We've done this since the first episode. If you don't like whispering, you're going to hate this show. I haven't been listening. Let's not do that. Uh, the cast of <laughs> Kevin Conroy as Batman, <laughs> Bob Hastings as Commissioner Gordon, Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. Jr. as Alfred, Alfred, Mary Devon as some lady. Mergleason. Joe Leahy as narrator. Uh, the out of the shadows comes the gray ghost again. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ra he played Razor Claw in the 80s Transformers animated series, but he is mostly known as a narrator in Warner Brothers cartoons. Oh. So, like, almost every episode of Freakazoid, he's the narrator, um, which I never made the connection, but I've, I've watched Freakazoid all the way through kind of recently. Uh, 
It's on Tubi, by the way, for free. You can go watch all of Freakazoid. And every episode, it, it definitely that guy's voice. So, like, it almost sounded funny. It was like a serious scenario here. Yeah. Like, oh, he's fighting the mobsters and with the ch- with a chain and everybody's, oh, my God, everything's exploding. And But it's just, like, the voice I expect to be, like, when Freakazoid ran down the <laughs> stairs and tripped and <laughs> fell on his face and the funny, funny sound effects happened. Uh, but yeah, he's been a narrator in Animaniacs. Uh, I was going to ask if he is in Animaniacs. Sylvester cool. and Tweety Mysteries, Teen Titans Go, other silly shows. Sweet. Uh, we got Bruce W. Tim as Ted Dimer. What's the W stand for? No idea. I think Walter. I knew immediately. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. I do. Uh, Adam West as Grey Ghost. Probably no introduction needed, but Batman and Batman 66. He also voiced Batman in a number of 70s and 80s uh, Super Friends era cartoons. Okay. Uh, and more recently, he voiced Himself. the same. Well, <laughs> he voiced Simon Trent. And, yeah, he voiced. He's the mayor in Family Guy, as you would know him probably. Yeah. Uh, but he he also voiced Batman in some recent animated movies that are set in the '60s TV show continuity. Oh my God! Uh, what? The last of which uh, released four months after his death in 2017, uh, at age 88. Adam West will never die. He, oh, you're right. Uh, he also played the mayor in the Batman cartoon, not the movie that just came out. Uh, he played a character named Spruce Wayne in Animaniacs. <laughs> and as we discussed before, at some point, we we brought this up for some reason, that he also played Young Mermaid Man in SpongeBob. Yeah. Uh, but I looked that up. That was an episode that aired in 2010, which would have been way after I was watching SpongeBob. Uh, I, d- I think, I know there was, uh, like maybe the first Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode had young versions of them on TV and they said a couple of lines, but it's not Adam West in that. So I'm perplexed. Yeah. I don't know. You were very convinced of like, Oh, I know Adam West did a voice on SpongeBob, looked it up. It was young mermaid man, but I, mean, I don't know. You could have seen an episode from 2010. I just haven't. <laughs> if I have, I've forgotten it completely. D- didn't you watch all of it? In reverse no, no, order? No, 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 no. So I, wa- I, I own the first 100 episodes on oh, okay. DVD. I don't know how, I don't think it makes it that far, uh, but it already was making it into territory of, <laughs> oh boy, I don't need to watch this one. <laughs> this isn't very good, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Animation was really good in this episode, and you want to know why? Why? Because it was the Cowboy Bebop people. Because. No. No, but. Uh, I had on here animation by Spectrum, but an yeah. asterisk next to it because one of my trivs, one of my trivias for you, uh, Spectrum Animation Studio is credited for the animation in this episode, although it was actually animated by Studio Dust. Don't know who that is. Uh, Spectrum ended up getting the screen credit for animation because Beware the Great Ghost was originally scheduled to be animated by Spectrum, but for some reason they oh. subcontracted it out to Studio Dust. Although Dust didn't get the credit in the end credits here, they are credited oh. for the animation in Animato Magazine issue number 26. So uh, wow. it's not the Cowboy Bebop people, but it must be some other like the studio must be known for some good anime or something because yeah we were both like i was noticing it but you said it out loud of like this has to be the cowboy bebop people like yeah. all that <laughs> fighting in the opening gray ghost sequence was very cinematic and oh, 3d super and good, cool yeah. the chain like whips by the camera and it's out of focus for a second and stuff like that like yeah yeah, and all of the, like, go into someone's eyeball and come out of their yeah, the other yeah, person's yeah. eyeball. and yeah, <laughs> Very dimensional. Yeah. Also, didn't wasn't there a mention of Spectrum in this episode? Like, some I think it says, like, Spectra or something. But, yeah, oh, I have to imagine it it's on purpose to, yeah, when they're like, the Grey Ghost episodes were produced by Spectra. They don't, that company burned to the ground or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to be related to the Mad Bomber stuff going on. Like, he purposely hid the the you know oh i'll burn down that building so no one can track me back to the origin of the explosions or whatever but mm. if that was the intention they never really followed up on that so it was just mm. kind of a weird thing um before i get to more trivia do you want do you have anything else you'd like to say about the episode Brian? Uh, is it is it like really bad for you now because of the RC cars. No. <laughs> like you regard this as like a bad episode because of the <laughs> No. No. It just like I felt like it was pulling me in one direction and then it kind of like 
yeah zigged when it should have zagged or whatever <laughs> sure what would you have preferred in the mystery of the <laughs> mad bomber <laughs> what would have kept it on your num- new number one or whatever i'm not i'm not certain i can write a show that fast <laughs> <laughs> come on <laughs> i guess i don't know like it it, it became about the toys and i think yeah. that's kind of where it lost me yeah um if it was just like you know following i don't know this the storyline on the show like all that was fine but yeah it's just something about the, like the the toys and like the car chase with the rc cars and all this like yeah just kind of a weird premise instead of i mean i get why you like why you feel that way i just don't personally yeah. like it doesn't bother me but it, when you point out the whole like how are they keeping up with the batmobile kind of thing <laughs> like that does like okay yeah I and also isn't the that. batmobile like bullet and or bomb proof <laughs> you'd think but how many times it gets crashed into a tin can on the side <laughs> of the road. So, I don't know. All right, let's do some trivia. Let's do some trivia. Uh, for those who don't, who are a new listener, I always pull this trivia mostly from the DCAU wiki and IMDb. But uh, in the events going forward, I've also, at Maddie's suggestion, looked through all of our archives of magazines and news articles and stuff. Mm-hmm where I just search the name of the episode and sometimes it'll come up in from an interview or from some cool thing. So I have a few of those that probably aren't in other places. Whoa. Yeah. Insider knowledge. While the title is spelled Beware the Gray Ghost with an A, G-R-A-Y, on the box of the original VHS release, it was called Beware the Gray Ghost with an E. The box of the DVD release calls it Beware of the Grey Ghost. Oh and God. that DVD's menu refers to it as Beware of Grey Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows what the fuck this episode's called. <laughs> so, uh, we talked in the Tiger Tiger episode about uh, the Arkham video games having like a reference to it in them. Yeah. Uh, the Grey Ghost is alluded to in the 2015 video game Batman Arkham Knight through posters of a film titled The Ghost in Grey. Simon Trent appears on the poster as the Grey Ghost. There you and go. And it's the same like image from that title card. Sweet. Alfred's mustache is white in this episode, while in all the others it is black. Oh, He's he's older. This is further on the timeline. <laughs> he just he, he needs to get it redyed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ted Dimer is visually based on and voiced by series producer Bruce Tim. This was Tim's voice acting debut, according to Wizard Magazine number one seventy three. Uh, the store the video store clerk resembles Paul Dini, Tim's writing partner, who was quite heavy at the time. It is said he was inspired to lose weight after seeing himself caricatured as such on Tiny Toon Adventures. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I didn't really think that that guy looked like Paul Dini too much. Like, I think he even had like red hair or something in the episode, but, uh, he had two straws. He had two straws, <laughs> double the straws, double the fancy. <laughs> Adam West, who voiced the gray ghost played Batman in the sixties. Of course, Tim and Dini have stated that they wanted West from the beginning to voice Simon Trent and they would not have done the episode had he refused oh, since wow. they feared he would be offended by an animated parody of the typecasting he reportedly suffered in his later career. West, however, mm-hmm. was happy to voice the character. This brought him newfound respect among Batman fans. Aww. <laughs> that was probably the best, the most like heartstring pulling part of the episode was like his strife, like his inability to make rent and all this stuff because yeah. he couldn't, he wasn't, he was, you didn't get the job, Trent. I need, I need money. I'm fucking old and, and <laughs> what do I do? And then also the scene where he's like, you have paid your last rent. And then he just sits in a chair and we're like, it, he died. <laughs> like we just thought, And then he woke up the next morning and Batman had somehow set back up his entire apartment without waking him up. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of an interesting thing. <laughs> Could have like left it in a box by the window or something. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, supposedly when Adam West was done with the episode, Paul Dini and Bruce Tim handed Adam West instead of a scale wage, a $25,000 check and the original Batman costume, which Dini bought for an unclo- undisclosed sum at an auction. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but that would be really cool if it was. Oh my heart. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I got to bump this back up higher on your list. I got <laughs> I got to let you know the things. Although Adam West had a reasonable career following his stint on Batman, he was paid in royalties and did voice work and animation. 
Uh, Simon Trent's financial troubles mirror those of Al Hodge, the actor who played the lead role in Captain Video and his Video Rangers in the 1940s. Never heard of this. I've never heard of that. But apparently, uh, Commissioner Gordon actor Bob Hastings' younger brother, Don Hastings, played the Video Ranger, Captain Video's young sidekick. Okay. (laughs) So kind of a weird connection there. Yeah. (laughs) I looked this up, and all I could find was one image of just the title. So it's just like a black and white, like, screen of like mountains and and then like captain video across and like okay oh my god what is it <laughs> um the gray ghost episode the mad bomber was episode 18 this episode of batman is also episode 18 production wise whoa <laughs> another episode this is these are all the episodes like in his closet of episodes uh, uh-huh. is labeled dr death which is also the name of batman's first villain from the comics Another episode is called Terror in the Sky, which is also the name of Batman the Animated Series episode that we haven't gotten to yet. And there's another episode entitled Grey Ghost Returns, an obvious reference to the comic book The Dark Knight Returns or film Batman Returns. I was wondering about all that. I was like trying to read things yeah, and being like, there's got to be some connection. I was trying to read accidental. those and all the names on his mailbox, <laughs> right. but that was, it went, all went by too fast. Uh, in the final scene, the issue of People depicting Simon Trent on the front cover, this is like a big poster thing on the wall, yeah. uh, is dated October 19th, 1992. Perchance to Dream aired on this day in real life. And we, yeah, I brought wow. that up in the trivia for that episode, I think, as a like... That sounds this is, Yeah, one of the only episodes where you see an actual date. The weird part about it is there's... Uh, there, there. Okay, so this the next trivs in the DVD version. A poster at the signing event mentions Matt Hagen, who would later become the villain Clayface, advertising him as the man of a million faces. This is his first appearance production wise. This episode is produced before oh, Feet of Clay. That's a super uh, cool Easter egg. But the words mentioning Hagen don't appear in the Blu-ray or HBO Max uh, versions of the episode. Why? So what we just watched did not have it. I was looking for it because it that I don't know why they kept the date. Since Bruce Tim and people are always just like, get all the dates out of there. I don't want dates. It's timeless. There's no, this doesn't take place in any specific time. But they left that <laughs> and got rid of the Matt Hagen thing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> all right. <Yeah>. All right. <laughs> Interesting choices. Uh, last one I got. Wes performed a similar self parody on an episode of Disney's Kim Possible, voicing a retired actor famous for his role as crime fighter, the fearless ferret. Not, <laughs> <laughs> not knowing that the ferret was just a television character, he passes on his costume to Kim's sidekick, Ron Stoppable, voiced by Will Friedle, who voices Terry McGinnis on Batman Beyond, which is Batman in Batman Beyond. Oh, there's so, a different Batman. Yeah, so Batman Beyond is it's future Batman. Future Batman? Future Batman. Future Batman. Oh, yeah. Did you not know that, really? (laughs) You weren't aware that Batman Beyond wasn't just more Batman? No, why? (laughs) Well, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Now you do. (laughs) Spoilers, Jamie. (laughs) That's the whole thing about this show. This is why I can't watch your YouTube videos anymore, (laughs) which sucks, by the way. you would have gleaned onto that by now, but that's okay. I don't think so. Well. That was made an impression anyway. It takes place like 40 years in the future, so he can't be Batman. In Gotham? Yeah. 40 years. Yeah. Is Bruce Wayne alive? Yeah. Spoilers, Jamie. <laughs> Stop asking me questions. Then. <laughs> Does he pass along the like? We'll get there. I'm not going to tell you anything more. Okay. Now you have things to brainstorm. Apparently. But, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go? Uh, no. Why do I always forget how we still have things to do? Don't. Don't do you... it. Don't do it. I want to press that button. What button? The mail button. No, it's not mail time yet. What time is it? It's Batman's usefulness. Oh, it's Batman's usefulness Batman's time. usefulness. Yeah, I want to rate Batman's usefulness. Do you want to rate Batman's usefulness? I sure do, after you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like how you just taking my ability to, or using my time to think of a, okay, I got to think of a so, rating. Okay. I, I'll, let's take a step back here. Yeah, okay. Right. This, uh, this section of the podcast originated from... Some some episodes, it seems, if Batman was not there, nothing would have been different. Right. <laughs> like when we watched It's Never Too Late, two old mob boss men are mad at each other and try to kill each other and then eventually come to the conclusion of, oh, I actually thought something different and I'm not going to kill you or whatever. Right. Batman was just kind of running around in the background and bar- <laughs> barely helped. So like... 
we rated that low. But then there's other episodes where Batman stops the bad guy from blowing up the entire city or whatever. And you rate it really high. And you rate it really high. Yeah. But in this episode, if we're following that same logic, I feel like had Batman not done anything, the Mad Bomber would just keep blowing up buildings yeah. and getting away with it. So yeah. what was the ultimate goal of the Mad Bomber? Why did he do that? Uh... <laughs> What was his motivation? Did he mention it? Was it something he's, about like keeping his collection valuable like, or something? Maybe. He's like, oh, toys cost a lot of money, but also I could use them to blow things up, I realized. <laughs> Pretty I weird motivation. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> he's just off off his rocker, I guess. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Batman, I would rate Batman... Uh, uh, eight out of ten... Uh, okay. I'm not going to, I got to do it in the middle. Eight chocolate sauce streams out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like I, I'm, I'm out of trying. the back of the Batmobile is what I'm referring to. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying not to uh, like go for the obvious RC car with my yeah, like arbitrary yeah. rating. Um, Double straws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. If I got to choose a singular blow dart last episode <laughs> three out of ten one blow darts or whatever yeah one drink in, dart. in that case oh i can i can i can math okay. i will give him two out of three one straws <laughs> oh okay <laughs> okay okay you know the two straws that existed out of a possible three yeah i see Okay. There you go. He could have. She could have totally shoved one more straw in that. Straw could- <laughs> Why didn't he have three? Why didn't he have three? He could have had three. Should I? Should I say more like eight? Eight out of ten, two straws. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's what I was. Two looking out for. of eight out of ten. I like how that guy also like. I got every TV show. Grey Ghost. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what I said. TV shows that I have. <laughs> Why did you ask the one I don't? <laughs> <laughs> it's simple math, Batman. I mean, Bruce. What were, were there any cool light effects? There was a lot of fire and everything was red and a lot of silhouettes. And things. Yeah, I think there was more creative uses of like camera work and yeah. like camera in like air quotes yeah. um, than there was like specific lighting effects. I think every time that it ex- an explosion happened from the cars, it was cool because everything turned all orange and stuff. Whoa. I liked it. Do you put this episode on your top ten? Take a look at your top ten. And I, my this. phone is in the other room. Why do you hey, give me do some, this? Give me some traveling music. Guess who was in this episode, but didn't say shit. Get up on the hydra's back. It was Get up on the hydra's back. That's the song we play when we announce Robert Costanzo, you see, new listener, because Robert Costanzo, who voices Harvey Bullock, also voiced Phil in everything Hercules except for the movie Hercules. So he is the voice behind Get Up on the Hydra's Back in Kingdom Hearts 1. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a delay after I hit this one. There's like two seconds of nothing oh, wow. at the start. <laughs> yeah. Quite literally. <laughs> um, oh. Pretty poison, heart of ice. Is it better than no? You put it. Okay, you put the one we just watched on your as your number ten. I did. So this is kind of upsetting. If you were to put this one on the top ten, it would not. You would bump off that one that you just put on there. Yeah, which is fine. (laughs) You're fine with that. I mean, it's it's the reality of it, right? Like things come, things go. Um, cat in the claw, nothing to fear. Huh. So I think I am going to put it on my top 10. I'm, I'm thinking so too, but why don't you go ahead and go through your situation okay. and I'll so contemplate mine. I, my top 10 in reverse. The Strange Secret of Bruce Wayne, Pretty Poison, Dreams in Darkness, Perchance to Dream, Eternal Youth, Joker's Favor, Heart of Ice, Two-Face Part 1, Feet of Clay Part 2, On Leather Wings. Yeah. My dilemma here is... I've come to the point where we, we talked about this very early on where yeah. we've set the the order of the list cannot be rearranged. You have to put stuff either above or below based on where it is right now. Yeah. I I like this episode better than Joker's Favor and Pretty Poison. Okay. But 
I don't like it better than Eternal Youth, Perchance to Dream, Dreams in Darkness. Like, those are all sitting around the right spot for me. I think Joker's favor is just too high on my list, but I can't do a damn thing about it. <laughs> okay. So I want to put this above Joker's favor, but I, I don't think I don't think I like Beware the Great Ghost better than the I'm, the dream episodes or Pretty Poison or I mean Strange Secret. Of I'm going to remind you of the fact uh-huh. that we agreed that we can have We'd, five shuffles on our list. That's true. If you're feeling off about it, I don't know if I can you want to use one this early though. Jamie, <laughs> how long? I know that you're a very detail oriented pl- person. Uh-huh. Some would say anal retentive. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm going to do, you... do it. Oh, <laughs> okay. I've got four shuffles. Oh, all I'm going to use this shuffle for because I think everything else I've got in the correct order. Yeah, I'm going to put uh, Beware the Grey Ghost right under Heart of Ice. Okay. Above Joker's favor, I'm going to move Joker's favor down under Dreams in Darkness, above Pretty Poison. Okay. So now I've got so Strange Secret of Bruce Wayne is gone. It barely was on there, but <laughs> it's not a bad episode. Any anytime we can, we only have ten spots in the top ten, Brian. We're building our top tens throughout we, this entire. And thing. We have at least eight thousand more episodes to go through. <laughs> at least. It went from 500 to 8,000 in one podcast. It's episode. basically my age. <laughs> it yeah. scales up. Are you, are, for real, you turned 38? No. No? No. Really no? <laughs> I, I'm right. I'm right, yeah? You got to add a couple more zeros. Oh, 3,800. There you go. That's, I mean, 3,000. What just happened? Whatever. Uh, you type Joker's <laughs> flavor loop. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I I I don't know either. I looked down you and my phone was typing. To the end of Joker's favor. It sh- if you if only you had left it flavor. <laughs> Joker's <laughs> flavor, flavor loop. loop. Okay, well I appreciate your list. Mine is uh, not Dreamscape. Dream dare to dare to dream. What is it? What perchance to perchance dream? to dream? <laughs> dare to dreamscape. <laughs> For chance to dream number ten. Uh, wait, oh, wait, no, 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 no. no oh, no, you're no. trying to figure out what dreamscape really is. Yeah, dreams in darkness. Dreams in darkness. Okay, I'm like wait a bunch of perchance. So from right ten there. to one, uh, dream, dream, God, <laughs> dreams brain, in darkness. Brain, you could just say, we agreed dreams last episode dark, dark, that you would call it dreamscape <laughs> and gaslight the listener. Okay, dreamscape. For chance <laughs> to dream. The strange secret of Bruce Wayne. POV, Nothing to Fear, Cat in the Claw Part 1, Pretty Poison, Joker's Favor, Feet of Clay Part 2, Heart of Ice. Now, I can respect one. this list, but Cat in the Claw Part 1 should not be among all these other ones. You don't think so? I don't think so, but that's just me. Maybe I should shuffle as well. <laughs> I honestly don't really remember. Well, no, I remember Cat in the Claw. That was the first episode we watched. So I understand that being like, oh, it's your introduction you have nothing to compare it to, so it stayed on here for quite a while. But I, I okay, I don't think it's a bad episode. I just you're it's it's on here in the middle, <laughs> above like POV. I see what you're dream. doing. What? And I actually I agree. Uh, you want me? I'm not actually trying to get you to use a <laughs> shuffle, but if you'd like to, I'm not going to stop. I think I have like top Jeez. five, like fear. You know, it's like, oh, those are like the really good ones. And so yeah. I haven't really considered. So I've been putting, if you listen to the rest of the episodes, like, obviously, it's, I've been dealing with my like bottom, like my six to 10. Yeah. So Jamie, like you, I'm going <laughs> to use the shuffle. Oh, yeah. This is a big day. We need some shuffle music. Shuffle, 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 I don't understand. So oh, you're gonna put it in ten and then kick it off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm putting I'm putting cat in the claw and position ten, which is immediately gonna get it off because I'm putting. Now, listener, and please know, be where if the you're a new ghost. listener, please know. I I do not try to influence Brian's decisions on. He's he, super. He and I have disagreed completely on my number one being on leather wings. This entire, <laughs> which was one of the first uh, ones I kicked off. Yes, and <laughs> it was your number ten for a long time. Uh, and 
Uh, uh, so I, I I want Brian to be to objectively place these per his or subjectively per his opinion, <laughs> but the cat in the claw should not be that. <laughs> Just say it. I, like I said, I definitely have a four. Now my my top four, my top five. Actually, like I'm feeling good with my top six. Okay. The question is, where does this fall? Oh, you've just erased it and not put it back because there's no point. Yeah. 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 Um, so I'm trying to figure out, like, my. I don't think it's better than nothing to fear. You're talking would about you, beware the great ghost. Yeah. Would yeah. you agree with that? I mean, no, you wouldn't. Uh, yeah. Nothing to fear was on mine for a while only because of the. I am the tiger. I believe in God. <laughs> I am Batman. But it doesn't hmm. like the rest of the episode is nothing special to me. So, but it's not my list. I don't know. I mean, I really liked. I I remember really being into, um, just like the scarecrow and yeah, right. That is that episode and his raspberry Fabrice. <laughs> his raspberry Fabrice. He's had it all along. <laughs> um, I I thought that was really cool. I enjoyed it. But now I'm like thinking back and like Pav was like an episode that I really enjoyed. Yeah. And I'm like, well, did I enjoy that more? So maybe this is what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm because I'm still know, know that the shuffle doesn't have to only affect one episode. You can move everything whoops. around with the shuffle. Whoops. That's exactly what I'm doing. Okay. So, oh, why, why is my Pot phone? V. <laughs> my phone is like, give me a very hard time right now. Auto correcting things. So I'm going like to put... both times you've written Pav, you don't put a period after the V. <laughs> That's been bothering me, okay? Put a question mark. Oh, there you go. Exclamation <laughs> point. Pav! <laughs> or really, P-O-V! <laughs> <laughs> point <Pav>. of view! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is Slap why that I do like this. button, everybody. <laughs> um... Okay, nothing to fear. Yeah. Okay, I'm putting it. I'm putting it in six. Okay. Um, my brain just forgot what it's called. Beware, Beware the, gray the gray ghost. ghost with an A. Oh, <laughs> beer the gray ghost. <laughs> my poor phone. Beware. What was it? Beware <laughs> of gray ghost. Of <laughs> That's in the DVD menu. Of right? slash the, the gray slash gray ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the of the and gray are all the interchangeable words. <laughs> Beware, gray ghost, ghost, <laughs> ghost slash ghost. All right, now that we're done with this segment that the listener can't see the sight gag. Well, we spent we way to too much them. time on that. Sorry, listener. Let's head over to the future for some yap email. Yap email. That's when. That's the mail. Mail time. You can't see our faces. Your what faces? Mail time. Mail Mail time faces? Mail time. Mail time is it the faces? present? When is it? Yeah. It's now. Yeah. Yeah. Baby. That yacht had one small extra yacht. Get it. Put it over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it. I didn't want to do that. That I had to. <laughs> You just, you just gotta welcome back to Yuppie. Welcome. <laughs> We've smoked twelve packs before the Yuppie set. We've also got accents because of the smoke. The smoke just changes your accent. And you just go straight <laughs> Brooklyn. Coffee talk, as Mike Myers would say. What are you looking for? You got this. That wrecked my throat. <clears throat> by the way, what do you, what's going on under your table there? Rose, uh, hold on. Rose dog. This is the it's the mail section, everybody, where Brian gets up to check on his dogs, and I drink a cool, refreshing Dr Pepper. Look, it's not a oh, dog. Oh, you're thing. back. Oh, no. I was just telling the audience about. Uh, I don't even remember. It's been so long. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. were gone for so long. That's a problem, maybe. We have a few things to go over, okay? Uh oh. Wait. Uh, what kind of things are we going over? Well, the first thing is I I want to get this is a a a, a yappy dudes first here. I got to <gasps> give a tri, a trivs correction. Oh, <laughs> trivs, trivs correction. 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 Jamie. Correction. Jamie was wrong. Trivs correction. 
I don't like ending on rection. Uh, so <laughs> I love it. As we were talking about before we started recording, I just had a call with Dan Reba for an undisclosed reason that will become apparent to the Watchtower Database fans soon enough, okay? Okay. But uh, he was telling me about how uh, we in the trivs prior to this section we're in right now, we talked about a piece of information that was Adam West uh, being on the show and then Bruce Tim and Paul Dini being like, we won't do this episode unless Adam West is in it, that kind of a thing. Okay. Apparently that's not true. <gasps> uh, they had already... <laughs> I know! Uh, don't have scary music! Oh, it's so scary! Uh, they're... <laughs> They had hired, uh, oh, what is his name? I already lost his name. Adam West. Ga no, Gary Owens is his Gary name. Gary Oldman? Uh, no. Oh. Gary Owens. He was a uh, radio announcer for a bunch of stuff in the, like, 70s or something. You'd recognize his face. Here's a picture of his face. I uh, vaguely <laughs> recognize his face. You don't recognize his face? He looks sort of James Lipton-ish, but not quite. <laughs> He's like a James Lipton light. Is there? There's like a Lipton light, like unsweetened tea or something, right? That's what this guy is. Anyway, <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> he was going to voice the Grey. He was originally cast as the Grey Ghost, and then Dan Rebo was telling me that he couldn't remember if it was himself or someone else on crew was like, hey, we should get Adam West. They said, oh, that's way better, and then they did that. So nice. You're welcome for the Triv's correction. I just had to Triv's get that out of the way. Triv's correction. Because I couldn't live with myself. Jamie was wrong. He sucks at Always trivia. That's why he suck. needs so me bad. to make this podcast better for him. Yes. We have an email from Sydney Abramson. Oh. It says, The Penguin Connection. Howdy, James and Paul, or whatever. I started Jesus listening Christ. to the pod. <laughs> That's the farthest we've had from your name, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I started listening to the pod from the beginning a couple of days ago, and because wow. I'm insane, I'm forcing myself to listen to every episode. As a result, I've listened to the Batman in My Basement episode, Gross Throwing Up. Anyway, y'all had an email from some dude, a yappy dude perhaps, and he said he was 16 and he thinks he's the youngest listener. I'm also 16 and I refuse to lose, so think, think me and I think me and him should fight to the death. Also, <laughs> I want to close off the market and get someone I know to be the oldest listener, so I'll tell you how how it goes all my grandparents are either dead or deaf so wish me luck so long and stay yappy <laughs> oh, my God. oh uh, it says sent from my iphone read that part out loud it's important okay You're welcome. I did, okay i did do that well thanks um, sydney uh i endorse yeah. a fight to the death that sounds like a totally good thing for us to get behind yeah and if everyone could just start commenting i'm 18 and on the next episode so that i'm confused and don't know what's going on like what happened last time that's that would be great. Even if you're not 18, just say you oh. are. Okay. Well, that's don't take that out of context. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, oh, backtracking. Uh, we, <laughs> we've got a voice message or two in here. Let me bring up the application. You should bring up the application. Uh, you got anything from Dylan Pollock in there? I sure do. What? Uh, the last one that we got from Dylan Pollock in the last real episode of the podcast. <laughs> uh, okay. Everyone's listened to the April Fool's episode, right? Uh, <sighs> was titled Tots of the Week, and then you called it Tater Tots of the Week in the podcast. Yes. This time Dylan has titled it Tater Tots of the Week. So let us take a, a listen. It's time for the Tater Tots of the Week from <laughs> Dylan Pollock. Okay, so this episode is Beware the Grey Ghost, or man, did this paint a sad picture the typecasting Adam West must have dealt with. Oh, that makes me kind of sad, but then I'm still MP4. happy because this is a really good episode. And it is nice in the end that both Simon Trent and Adam West seem to still appreciate those roles. <sighs> oh. Hi, Jamestown and Broderick Cleveland. Okay, so Alfred says, I don't watch television. I prefer my fireplace. So now we know why the kid in the Underdwellers was having such a bad time with him and trying to do anything he could to get away from him. Oh, uh, no another thing, I love Batman's passion for his childhood show, but if I just watched the Scooby-Doo movie, I wouldn't suddenly force Fred Prince Jr. and Sarah Michelle Gellar to solve a mystery with me. <laughs> but I guess it becomes a less interesting show if he's trying to meet the writer of his childhood show or a showrunner. And another great Batman the Animated Series trope, the Mad Bomber shelf falls down and immediately the place goes up in flames. Uh -huh. What's up with that? Yeah, <laughs> yep. We talked about that. How did you not know? You couldn't you hear the episode. Dylan yeah. is just always, yeah. like, this is... 
we've we've had some we've had some jokes of, and and just like you know passing comments about Dylan being yeah. on the show, and it's just like he's just there. He's like on par with us. <laughs> Almost every time with almost every comment. Yeah. <laughs> He's watching through a peephole. Okay, got to take notes. Got to say that thing that they said. This was also the episode, as you'll hear when you listen back, where uh, Kimmy was just sitting in and we said that she was Dylan Pollock at the start. Wow, I, that was months ago. <laughs> I know. I, it's, it has been a while now, especially doing the dude where's my car thing. And now I'm just like the freshly listening. The dude where's listening. my car thing? What are you talking oh, about? Oh, sorry. I, that never happened. No, we broke at the end. That happened. Oh, that's right. Okay. <laughs> Everyone knows. It happened. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm listening back to them now as if they're like fresh new episodes I've never heard before. Like, <laughs> I don't know who these guys are over there. Hilarious. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I what was the thing that oh yeah they're like I like the idea that Batman's like I have to avenge my parents and I I have to fight crime and keep the city clean and blah 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 how like what'll I do I need a TV oh, star there, yeah <laughs> there was that television show that I'll just kind of do that I guess I'll wear a cape and a weird thing on my face that's what he did. I hope no one tries to blow up buildings with RC cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, it's happening. <laughs> I mean, I feel like there's been a movie or something or two or TV shows where that is like, that is itself a trope the, that with the like, kid, I'm not actually a, a hero. I just play one on TV kind of a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway. Yeah. There's uh, just the idea that Bat like in a in a vacuum batman only became batman because he's like i like this cartoon or what i guess it's not a cartoon i like this <laughs> serial black and white tv show from my childhood. are there <laughs> cartoons in the dcau yeah we'll see a couple eventually so they must be like mickey mouse style or something there is the actual <clears throat> actual looney tunes episodes play in the background a couple times so so can I There'll be that. Can I call that as my prediction for whatever episode that is? Whenever that happens, can you be like, oh, that time when we were doing Yappy Mail? Well, yeah, <laughs> remember a uh, thing remember a, a Yappy Mail from months ago that we won't remember where Brian said they probably look like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> is that what you want me to do? Yeah, I want you to remind me of prediction. that when you ask for my mm -hmm. prediction for that episode. Take a okay. note. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh before I get to the last couple of voice messages, mm. I believe they are for the one from... Oh, no. this These are all pre-April 1st, so I'll go ahead and play them. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were going to be associated with... Them. This is another one from Dylan Pollock. Question of the week. Ooh. Oh. What? Okay, Brames and Giant. You're not going to weigh that easily. So the question of the week is, who is your great ghost? So if you are solving a crime, <laughs> okay. who's from a childhood show that's going to help you out? For me, I guess it would probably be either Spider-Man, I also watched that, or maybe Yu Yu Hakusho, so Yusuke from that? Oh, I don't know. What about you guys? Yu Yu Hakusho was good. Uh, Ooh. Batman, duh. <laughs> 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 well, what detective from my childhood? I don't know. What's the, uh, what's, what's the girl on Nickelodeon that was a detective girl? Uh, Harriet the Spy. <laughs> 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 Nate the Great. <laughs> Wow. I, I would know. probably, like, my, like, jump to is to go someone in Marvel, like, probably, you know, Wolverine or something like that. <laughs> to help you on a detective mission? I mean... Where the fuck is he? <laughs> I'm going to slice and dice him. <laughs> what, Professor X, then? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just judging you. It's okay. That's our answers, Dylan. This one is from Jordan Blumen. If you play it on the show, I will be very happy is the subject line. I will. Oh, okay. Hey, guys. My name is Jordan, and I've actually got my own nerd fandom-related podcast that only covers current TV and movies, which unfortunately gives me very little opportunity to talk about the epic badassery of All the right. DC animated universe. <laughs> I grew up on the DCAU, and I hold it very close to my heart, which is why I have loved the Watchtower database for years. Aww. The unbridled enthusiasm on display there is actually what inspired me to make my own podcast, so thanks hey. for that. And it's why you, James and Brrrr, <laughs> Brother Broderick, are oh my now God. my favorite podcast to listen to. So what? thank you for being the awesome, cool guys that I know you are. Oh, and Beware the Grey Ghost is actually my favorite episode of what? Batman the Animated Series. <laughs> I rewatched it after the passing of Adam West, and hearing his voice brought me to tears. So I really hope you guys like it, and thanks for being awesome. 
Talk soon. You know, we played it on the show, and I was very happy. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Me too. Thank you, Jordan. Right? Was it Jordan? Yeah, th- yeah. That was Damn. awesome. Jordan, I want to know. I want to know about your podcast. Yeah, you didn't say what it was. You got free publicity, and you blew it. You blew it, you jerk. You're just gonna. <laughs> you're just gonna have to come back. Uh, send us another voicemail. We want to know about yeah. your podcast because we're just all about plugging other podcasts on this podcast. That's all we do. Because <laughs> no one listens to this, so please go to the other thing. That's what... <laughs> uh, Jordan, yeah, thanks no, for such a really nice, nice message. To hear. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. No. I... <laughs> Beware the Great Ghost, it was not our favorite episode, but it did make both of our top tens. Oh, so. yeah. It was, it's a good one. It was good until the RC cars showed up. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, I'm such a curmudgeon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ba-da-da. Moving on to the comments on the Pod Tower YouTube channel. That's where Go the comments are. Go to youtube.com slash the Pod Tower. Slash it. And yeah, go to youtube.com, comma, slash the pod tower. That's the other instruction. <laughs> and then leave a comment. Third instruction. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm drinking so much Dr. Pepper on the podcast. I'm sorry for that too. <laughs> but dear God, thank you that you're not drinking, Jamie. Thank you for not drinking V8. Oh, yeah. I got to do that more often. Go I'm losing no. my edge. No. No, you don't have to. We had to. quite the, uh, we had like two or three years going strong there where I would just drink V8 in front of Brian or send videos of myself drinking V8 <laughs> to Brian just to gross him out. So if anyone wants to, you know, find Brian on Instagram, send uh, messages of you <laughs> drinking V8, <laughs> no. that'd be great. Uh, no. Maddie Washburn says, I claim critters. I think this was in being on it, like bringing guests on for episodes. Okay. Sorry, but you have to, they say. So, yes, uh, let's do that. Let's make that a thing for sure. Uh, Scotty Cameron, to answer Dylan's question, that villain I w- I'd see would eat wh- what? Uh, <laughs> to <laughs> to it, answer Jamie. Dylan's question, that villain I'd see would either be a member of the elite hunting group from Hostel. Oh, it's the who is chasing you in your nightmare thing. Got it. Villain from a for- horror movie. Uh, elite hunting group from Hostel or a Flebiac brother. Violator is one of them from Spawn. Okay. Thinking of that nightmare scene, imagine if Riddler was included in the lineup of villains that Batman sees. That's the first time we see Riddler before he's introduced in the show. Anyways, stay yappy. <clears throat> Done. Oh, and we always are. Cole's Corner says, I can't wait for the next episode, especially with Adam West voicing the Great Ghost, how he was a childhood hero to Bruce, just like many of the parents watching this in the 90s saw him as their childhood hero in the 66 Batman show. I'd like to ingest a little bit of fear toxin just to see what my greatest fears are, to see what hallucinations pop up. No, don't do that. That's, that's actually that's kind don't of a cool drugs. point. <laughs> That'd be just really take a little sniff. <laughs> just, oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I don't like this at all. Spiders, sweet. <laughs> yeah, turn. I already knew that. Ah! Uh, Ashley Touchin says, "I really love this episode. It's one of the greats." This is on. I did forgot to say. It's on Dreams and Darkness or Scarecrows. Raspberry Febreze. <laughs> I also love how you guys reference the old college humor Batman videos. Those things were hilarious. They're so uh, good. Yes, yes. Also, I'm starting a petition for Brick to play the lead role of the bullet that kills the Waynes in the history of the Wayne Killer Gun radio play. <laughs> that way, his new name can be Brian Bullet Brick Broderick. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I can't wait for next week's episode. One of my all-time favorites. I've never Good wanted shit. to play yeah. a bullet so badly in my life. <laughs> it's just pew. <laughs> like <laughs> that's your only line is <laughs> pew. I yeah, do one pew, of these pew. things with my arms, make a bullet shape. You do bullet do bullets make sounds or does the gun make the sound? Huh. If mirrors aren't real, or how can our eyes be real or whatever Jaden Smith said? <laughs> Uh, Mo- Charles Motosierra <laughs> says, oh my God, beware the great ghost is so perfect to me. Rest in peace, Adam. It was a good one. Yeah. Uh, Cole's Corner also said, every day more people pile into that bat wagon to listen to Jim Jam and Brick talk about the DCAU. Yeah, man. If you're listening to like this for the first time, cool. Hey, welcome. Yeah. Uh, wow. Sorry for any, any inside jokes that you may not have gotten. This was actually the perfect timing for this episode. We did our April Fools, and then this was the episode pre-recorded where we had decided 
hey, in case you're listening to this for the first time, we're going to explain every single thing that we oh, do. Oh, is that this episode? Yeah. So I thought we did that <laughs> like 19 like, months ago. <laughs> no, you silly. I'm so silly. Scarface Nate says, hey, Jim Jam and Brian Brick Broderick Broderick Co. So Great episode as always. I love hearing all the things you pointed out that I forgot about previously. It made me laugh out loud. Lol. So this means Dr. Wu, uh, that's the lady that still has Bruce Wayne's DNA, uh, could be the next <laughs> Hugo Strange if she has his blood samples. Is the noir feel to it as Batman is known for being a detective so the noir style narration fits well? I can't wait to see your thoughts on Beware the Great Ghost. Definitely uh, in my top ten episodes as it always made me emotional and nearly cry and smile from ear to ear, especially when I also grew up with Batman 66. I give the podcast five bats out of penguin rose clown point skunk and the penguin <laughs> and the, the episode itself is five ah, out of five harvey no in uh oh in reference to batman's infamous weaker deline liveries yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah. i'm fall i'm still falling <laughs> i'm falling ah. stop <gasps> ah. Ah. <laughs> I hope it just doesn't get better than that. It's I'm just I just have rose colored glasses for everything. Yeah, I know. Oh, there he goes with the Dr. Every, Pepper again. Oh, uh, my throat I, I, it was the smoker cough at the start. I'm just Maybe I you shredded shouldn't have everything. Smoked yourself to no, Brooklyn. I shouldn't have. Little Bluebird sixty three. I think that's a new one. Welcome. This has rapidly hey. become my favorite podcast. Oh, yeah. I get so excited. <laughs> I get so excited to listen every Friday. Beware the Grey Ghost is one of my absolute favorite episodes. Adam West playing a sad, washed up actor in the beginning breaks my heart every time I watch it. I cannot wait to hear yeah. what Brick thinks of the Grey Ghost. Well, you're hearing it right here and now, there you baby. Go. Yeah. That's I something that I, I, I like, especially with people like really latching onto this episode. I wonder if I like you know we go through all this stuff and if I have to watch it again. Yeah. I wonder if I would like rearrange my top ten on a second watch through, having things just be so. Yeah. I don't know, fresh enough, and then to catch more or whatever. I don't know. It'd I'm be not interesting saying. to to. It'd be interesting to watch maybe like after each show, we don't we don't like stop and start a new top ten, but we at least freeze the top ten of like these were our top ten Batman episodes. We'll keep going from here, but then if we ever want to come back to and see like what were what still was on here from Batman before, or what still you know something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good we'll thought. Figure something out. Uh, tip Tapricot. I uh, loved the audio clip you guys used at the end of this one because you were like, bye guys, and then immediately jumped to, oh, 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 and I thought one of you was dying, LMAO, <laughs> filled, <laughs> pulled out the Febreze on all of us. So, so excited for you guys to review Grey Ghost. It's one of my favorite episodes for the concepts it introduces and how it plays into the Batman character, both in world and meta textually with the gray ghost being voiced by Adam West. Also, good luck on the new podcast, Brian. I know we listener will look forward to it. Aww. Give us a pod update. Pod update. Here we go. Pod update. Pod update. Is there nothing? Let's see. <laughs> um, I mean, I've, I'm working on it, but I've also been... Oh, I guess this is the spring for me to be going like really hard into things. I'm also yeah. trying to start up... Um, restart my my photography business oh yeah, and yeah so it's been like lots of like seminars and rebuilding websites and yeah. meeting with people and like trying to like drum up leads and that sort of stuff and so the like hardcore hey let's make some money thing is taking mm. precedence to writing a yeah. script but it is not it has not fallen by the wayside yet luckily you uh you, you, i, I re our limelight visual promo video recently and yeah. it's still hilarious uh, like i still <laughs> that's still the best that's still the best thing we ever did with that company you know because <laughs> we did nothing at all uh <laughs> which is all my fault because i wanted to make the watchtower database successful instead and fuck it, you brian okay and it worked <laughs> and here we are uh, doing stuff for it so you know uh, <laughs> mark Mark Aquino says, I was the one who got scared by Brian's scream in the Cape and Cow Conspiracy <laughs> episode. I'm the scaredy cat. <laughs> I've been thinking about that literally almost every day. And I'm like, I don't remember what episode it was. I don't know who it was, but I wonder who it was. And now yeah. I know. I'm so worried. 
Uh, Kate Tastic, the mail time is honestly one of my top four favorite sections of the podcast. I love hearing <laughs> <laughs> one of my top four. Fa- Thank you. That's such high praise. Such high praise. I love hearing the interactions between y'all and this small, weird community. And it was very strange hearing my comment be read twice through time, space, and memory. Also, Jimmy Boy, whenever you say my username, it sounds like you're trying to swallow a rock. Kate or Caitlin works. If that'd be easier to say, what do I say? Kate Tastic. Uh, Kate Tastic. Sounds a little bit rock swallowy. I don't know. Can you clean that up? Kate Tastic. What am I supposed to do? Is it just, is it like fantastic with Kate? Kate Tastic. Kate Tastic. Oh, is it because I put like a space in the middle? I thought it was just, okay, whatever, Caitlin, okay? It's what it is now. (laughs) I'll try to remember that. I won't read the username. Uh, Kate Tastic also says, I saw this episode before the Discord (laughs) server announcement. I was busy learning about biopolymers. Interesting. I don't know what that is. What is that? Um, (laughs) Well, I don't know much about biopolymers, but like polymers is like one of my favorite chemistry things to geek out over just because like, they're just the just you just go like go look up like what <laughs> what constitutes a polymer. Look up some polymers in your life and learn some stuff. Okay. And it's really cool. And or get some polymers the, in your life. Get some polymers going. So biopolymers, okay, I, I just I won't. suspect would be that it would be a more like biological. Yeah, polymers. Yeah, I mean that's my guess. Makes sense. That makes sense. Words combine to other form other words. <laughs> Nick Sorensen says, coincidentally, this episode and the next one for the podcast were also the two episodes that were featured on Warner Home Video's VHS of Adventures of Batman and Robin that was centered on the Dark Knight himself. Since I never really got to experience much of the original Fox Kids run of BTAS during the far gone days of the 1990s, <laughs> people will find that owning these select videos was one of the first ways I got to experience the series myself. Pretty sure that was also the case with me in Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, at least until I could start watching reruns of BTAS on Cartoon Network. I especially be, I'll especially be bringing that up again with another specific episode that will be coming up not too far from now. As for this episode, uh, what? Dog. Dog, dog do, you, do you mind not barking while we're podcasting? You might not be in a dog. Can you meow instead? That'd be great. Sorry. And you just go, Whoa. <laughs> As for this episode, I always liked it. Bruce's nightmares about his parents walking into a giant gun and running into his rogues gallery were some powerful, surreal stuff. But as good as this episode was, the next one's going to be even better. Dun, dun, dun. I can't remember if we put it higher or lower. Um, Yeah, the thing with the VHS tapes, I think I've talked about it a little bit. There, There's some uh, behind me there under this Green Lantern lantern. Uh, that I had as a kid, and I watched the same like five Batman the Animated <laughs> Series episodes over and over and over and over and over. And when we get to a couple of those, they're replacing my number one. I'll tell you that. <laughs> so, really? <laughs> so yeah. So when we get to, uh, I won't, I won't tell you what it is. But yeah, that was definitely Nick. That was my uh, experience as well. Was just those tapes, and then finally watching them on Cartoon Network. Uh, what about you, Brian? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no comment. Uh, I, I feel like you, you mentioned something about that and how different also going from like the VHS tapes to like the Blu-ray and suddenly yeah. there's like so much more detail and stuff that you like didn't see before. Yeah. Is that and, cool and or is that bad? It is cool. I, there's some people, th- which I, people? I don't fully, some people, I don't fully disagree with, but, uh, that are very like, oh, I hate the BTS Blu-rays because like it's cleaned up too much and the atmosphere is gone and all this kind of thing. Uh, which I get, mm-hmm. but I also it's really nice to look at. So yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of somewhere in the middle, but I understand what they're what they're talking about. Uh, Scar Lowy says excited for next best. P.S. Great episode Aww. as always. Kira Woodward <laughs> and Brother Brickhouse. I'm not Kira Woodward. I'm Jared I'm- Scotslin. <laughs> that was my name in that thing. Okay, <laughs> if you see Jared Scotslin on any other. Wolf erotica, it's me. Does uh, does Jared know that you did that? What? Who? Jared. That, but that wasn't his actual last name. Oh, it's so, not. No, th- Jared Scotsland is a name I called myself while blackout drunk. So. Oh, I thought that was the name of one of your friends. <laughs> no, that was me mixing Jared and then Joe Scott's name to get no <laughs> together. Oh. <laughs> oh wow, my my mind is completely blown. 
<laughs> so anyway. <laughs> anyway, Jared, moving on. Zane, yeah, Zane Beatty says, the last bit of Scarecrow audio, you can't convince me that was just not inaudible Robin Williams noises. <laughs> 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 yeah, just genie outtakes or something. <laughs> wow, that's a, that is a scary good point. <laughs> No Net Plays says, really interesting concept for your new podcast, Brian. Great motivation for so many people, myself included, who have dealt with setbacks in their life. We'll drop a sub. Can't find the link, though. Did I miss it in the description? And then I put it in the description and said that it's now there because I forgot to do it because I'm a piece <laughs> of shit. It's there now. It's in the description of... Whatever this episode was, Dreams and Darkness or Scarecrow's <laughs> Raspberry Febreze. Just, just put it in the description of everyone going Every forward. It's them. fine. Yeah, I'll mind. put them in there. To uh, It'll be like stress-inducing motivation for you to make sure that you actually do this. Honestly, thing. like with my like big, big-time ADHD brain, yeah, that mm-hmm. would be great. If you could put more stress on me to do that, I would, okay. I'd stop sleeping, Sick. but I would start producing episodes. You sleep now? I mean, I slept probably four hours last night. <laughs> That's what friends are. <laughs> four hours last night. Uh, <laughs> Lano Lacola. Lano Lacola says, I always remember this episode for being the source of. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. I mean, <laughs> using, using Batman being dragged along by Poison Ivy's vibes. <laughs> I forgot about that. That is a good one. Uh, listener, if you, don't, if you don't understand that, don't look it up. <laughs> Wednesday 209. Anyone in the comments of this is going to know. All right, James and Brick, I love your videos and all, but I feel like I need to tell you the truth. I used to be part of a group called the Krusty Krab Database. We specialized in talking everything SpongeBob from Easter eggs to lore. We give it our, our all to give content out for the fan base. I joined the group in late 2012, but the group has been around since 2001. But one day, all of that changed when the Yop Tower database came in and ripped us off. Mm. And then the Watchtower database came in and ripped them off. You and the Yop Tower database should be ashamed of yourselves for stealing and ripping off content from a group that's been around since the 2000s. You both have fucked with the wrong fan base, my guy. We will make sure to pee-pee all your (laughs) poo-poos with regards from a former member of the Krusty Krab database. Cool. Well, Wensi... Uh, I think we're just enough removed from that one that we're not going to put, we're not going to pose any sort of threat toward it. We're just going to leave it alone. Yeah. Uh, and also, there's that, what's that saying of like, good artists copy, great artists steal? Yeah. Steal from the best. You yeah. Know? We're just, that's- we just stole. Stole from someone who was better than you. That's all I'm saying. Dylan Pollock <laughs> says, You have no idea how excited you've gotten me, Brian. My teeth are so hard right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which then in parentheses it says, was that the thing from the previous time? This is in reference to talking about bringing in that guy pill and dollar. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> and then Dylan Pollock again says, need any voices for that radio play? Because I know a guy who likes to talk. Uh, <laughs> we'll consider it. We'll consider it. Asi Dragoon says, oh, man, it's time for the Mad Bomber. Sure, he blows up buildings, but worst of all, he obsessively ships Batman and Batgirl together. The Fiend. <laughs> That's in reference to Bruce Tim. I do find it funny that world's greatest detective Bruce here never bothered to check the very public cancellation of his favorite childhood show and massive print-destroying studio fire, especially since even though it would have happened hmm. either when he was a child or during his training, he's been back in Gotham steadily long enough to have a college-aged Robin, like it's never come up in the last decade or so he never thought to himself in passing hey remember that show i liked as a kid that inspired my whole gimmick i wonder how that ended and fun huh. fact yeah that is interesting yeah that's a <laughs> really good point uh and fun fact the 2017 ducktales show has a background gray ghost reference in darkwing duck's lair there's a very gray ghost looking darkwing suit in one of the display cases the fun part is that in this version of ducktales Darkwing Duck was inspired by a television superhero whose actor was also bitter and couldn't find work when his show was canceled. So it was a neat nod to beat as Bruce in this episode. That's pretty cool. I must have missed that. I've seen that episode, but I don't remember that. That's cool. That's super awesome. Another Yappy episode with Dylan, Bratwurst, and Aaron's dad. (laughs) Thank you so much. (laughs) It just gets better every time. 
<laughs> that gets funnier the longer you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mark Aquino again says, Dr. Wu, gee whiz, Batman, minus the toxin, this blood sample you gave me matches that of Bruce Wayne. Batman furiously pushes microscope away. Nope, no, it doesn't, never has. Bye bye. <laughs> I literally watched Dreams in Darkness a half hour before this posted. Perfect. That's how you're supposed well to do done. it. Well done. Thought it was a decent episode. I've also been listening to this podcast a lot over the last month, and it's my kind of stupid. Here's to you, Jim Jam <laughs> Jamboree, and Brian Brick Broderick Bra Braggadocio, and Bill <laughs> Pollock, of course, or I suppose. Keep on yapping, even if your doctor tells you not to. Doctors wouldn't let Batman do his thing in this episode, so what do they know? Am I right? Yeah, yeah. you're right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Doctors fixed your guts, Brian. You owe them everything. Yeah, that's true. Surgeons fixed uh, my guts. Well, yeah. They got doctor in their name or something. Dr. Surgeon. Scotty Cameron. Dr. Surgeon Scotty Cameron says, This is a nice late birthday gift from none other than the Yappy Dudes. Happy birthday. Uh, maybe we said that before. I don't remember. Happy birthday again. It's been the 24 <laughs> If you <laughs> yeah, had a birthday so in the long. last year, happy birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Uh, but not in the next year. No. If the 24th <laughs> fell on Friday and not Thursday, this episode would have dropped on my birthday. Anyways, Beware the Great Ghost is a good episode. I like seeing Batman and Batman team up to stop Michael Bay. <laughs> Dr. Barth <laughs> Dr. Bartholomew <laughs> was Cagliostro and Spawn. I knew I recognized him from somewhere. The Spawn was a great show canceled way too soon. I like the name Broderick Cleveland. I know, me too. Me too. <clears throat> and then a bunch of people wish them happy birthday. Dylan Pollock says, put that sweet Dylan Pollock hour in my veins. And also says, first. Because they were first. Hey! Now I am going to go through the comments from uh, Dude Where's My Batmobile or Disco Battering. <laughs> Though <laughs> I I only want to go through them because, oh. Oh, no. There's just a message saying I have 15 minutes left on this card. I think we can do it. Okay. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> a, lot of the, a lot of the listener... Uh, made it through or stayed with the joke, I guess. So I, okay. I was proud of them. Uh, Super Luigi 64 says, I can't believe you guys didn't discuss the cameos by Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, George Clooney, phoned in from the set of South Park, and Adam West. The <laughs> dance number they do was tight as heck. You're right. I, we did forget those. Yeah, that's a pretty uh, big oversight <laughs> in our part. Sorry. Tip Tapricot, I heard about this movie while getting into the DCAU, thanks to the Watchtower Database's two-hour timeline video on it from a few years ago, <laughs> which luckily meant I was able to skip it. Never has something gotten such beloved characters so wrong. I'm just glad they went back to form with the following content. Really saved the universe. Yeah, ter terrible movie. Yeah. Awful. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cole's Corner, but seriously, outside the podcast personas and act and what now, what possessed you guys to watch Dude, Where's My Car? I guess we should probably answer that. It's not really much of a story other than... <laughs> well, we'd been talking since the... We said it on the podcast, and we are like, oh, yeah. April Fool's falls on, on a, a Friday. Friday. It's like, on a we Friday. We have to do something. Yeah. 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 And we had some bigger thoughts that maybe we'll do next year. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, but it, it became, came down to lack of time and <laughs> came down to lack of time. And then the idea to, um, just watch some TV show or a movie or whatever, yeah. and then just assign characters on the movie. Yeah. And like, I think it was just pick, I think I just said, was it you or me that said the name of this? It just out of left field, something completely unrelated to Batman. And then it's just like, yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> just did that. Wasn't it but, Jessica that said, like, dude, where's my Batmobile or something like that? Maybe. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't it was know. a year, within the last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, no, I, there's no reason. And we're very sad to have done so. It was. I know. Was just, that's just, oh, that was yeah. so. <laughs> uh, Charles Moto Sierra says, as much as we all love that part, we've got to acknowledge Chuck Norris was just a deus ex machina to save Alfred's gay communist vegan twin. <laughs> <laughs> Truer words have never been spoken, uh, nor falser words. <laughs> Ashley Touchin says, it's a shame you couldn't come up with an April Fool's Day gag. I was looking forward to seeing you guys come up with something fun. Anyway, thanks for shining a light on a tragically underrated entry in the DCAU canon. <laughs> People sing praises 
this for Man- Mask of the Phantasm and Return of the Joker, but this is the true underrated gem of Batman movie history. Personally, I'd recommend watching the director's cut because it's superior in every way, especially the extended alternate tattoo scene where the tattoos say Yop and Dude. It goes on for <laughs> 48 minutes straight. Never before has a single scene captured the true essence of the Dark Knight. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm some kind of surprised. I mean, I guess we were trying to sell that it was a real thing, but yeah, dude, what does mine say? Yop, what does mine say? <laughs> dude, yop, what is? <laughs> uh, I I listened back to this whole thing, and I was just like, it was draining to li- like I was like, okay, maybe a little too long of of trying to hold on to this joke, like. <laughs> I I got the sense that maybe at least a couple people listening to it also felt that way. I but, haven't I haven't listened to it. I've somebody I don't remember. I was talking to someone. And was like, oh, should I should I listen to that one? I'm like, maybe not that episode. Because <laughs> I <laughs> yeah, also just didn't start feel with this. great about it. It was just having watched that movie yeah. and then trying to be upbeat about it was like, oh, that's tough. Well, and by the time like right now it's labeled and thumbnailed and everything so normally. Like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's the 32nd episode of the podcast, and here's the thumbnail and with images from the movie, of course, and <laughs> I put Batman and Robin masks on, but then by the time that this episode you're listening to, listener, comes out, I will have changed it to, like, bonus, April Fool's, blah, 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 for future people coming through the podcast going, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> so Amazing. Yeah. Uh, Nick Sorensen said, yeah, I remember this movie. It's pretty bad, but not as bad as Brian's least favorite BTAS episode on Leather Wings. <laughs> Hard to imagine <laughs> that the DCAU even took off at all after that first train wreck of an episode. <laughs> oh, and happy April Fool's. <laughs> um, uh, Scar Lowy says, seriously, this is everything I love about April Fool's. Great podcast, Jay-Z and Bro Broderick. Uh, Scotty Cameron, best April Fool's prank is Beware the Grey Ghost, or should I say the Michael Bay episode next week's episode? Yes, it is. It's happening right now. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, Pill and Dalek says, no, Dylan Pollock, worst podcast ever. Scar Lowy says, I can't believe people are always complaining about the Zeta Project, but never complain about this awful movie. Me too. Kareem Mosman said, I can't believe you didn't recognize Hal Sparks, Nostromo, in this movie. He is the elevator guy from Spider-Man 2. <laughs> yeah, he sure is. Uh, Dylan Pollock said, this confused me for far longer than I'd like to admit, and I must say, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. <laughs> yeah, You're welcome. Uh, Noah, oh, I can't believe I forgot about this movie. It has to be one of the worst things in the DCAU. I don't consider it canon. Good plan. Kate <laughs> Tastic says, Kate happy me. day after, half, happy day, okay, so this was a, a thread I partook in. Happy day after trans day of visibility. Edit. Wow, I posted this before I watched. Frick, I did not expect this April Fool's movie to be transphobic as hell. <laughs> and then I said, fucking tell me about it. I am appalled. Uh, <laughs> Caitlin Back said, on the day I learned I was getting hormone replacement therapy this year too. Which, congrats on, by the way. <laughs> but awesome. not, But yeah, terrible timing. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Fucking horrible movie. I hate it so much. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wensy209 says, glad you guys are reviewing Dude, Where's My Batmobile? That movie was my favorite movie growing up. Awesome memories. Also April Fool's. Uh, Aussie Dragoon says, April 1st. (laughs) You you see? Um, Awesome. Uh, What was the... Okay, I'm going to really quickly, I'm going to go to the the Watchtower database post of this also because there were a couple of... You have nine minutes. uh, I know this. I see it. Oh, God damn it. I got to switch accounts. Oh, my God. Am I going to make it? Switch Am I gonna make it? accounts, Count, James. Switch accounts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ashley Touchin says, hey, Watchtower, stop stealing videos from the pod tower. I can't believe it. I should have known you were working with the Yop Tower all along. I'm so disappointed. Me too. Sydney Abramson. Hey, that's the person that wrote in or sent, wrote the email to us. I loved this movie so much as a kid. I'd watch it all the time growing up. Whenever my parents weren't home, I'd make some popcorn, put the disc in, and have a great time. Sometimes I'd watch it twice. That's why I was so surprised when I was re-watching it the other day and realized how just how insensitive and awful it is. I'm just yeah. so disappointed in the DCA you for letting this happen and then my parents for letting it be such a big part of my life and honestly in the fandom as a whole for not making this horrible thing more well known thank you guys so much for talking about it i was already subscribed but i'm definitely going to recommend this podcast to all my friends now (laughs) just because of that thank you so much 
Kevin Renke says, I'm glad I never bothered with this movie. Very well done review. Yeah, and don't ever. Norby Zero, after 10 seconds into the video and cause for demonetization over Rimrod. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just... You want me to say that again? It's Rimrod. Mark Aquino says, how dare you? I'm appalled. I thought it would get a thorough and articulate examination of, sir, position me to the location of your truly flying mammal vehicle. But <laughs> Harvey, no, it was just two simpletons. Excuse me. Ex Oh my God, exuding mouth noises from something called Beware the Grey Ghost. I'm taking my business to the Yop Tower database from this day forth. <laughs> you two should be ashamed of yourselves. My father gave his life for ACOM, and I shall not stand for this insolence. I rescind my subscription, and may heaven have mercy on your souls. <laughs> That's Love it. Love it. That's it. That's the end. We still, I still got like six whole minutes to bullshit. What do you want to talk about for six minutes before the card runs out? I would like to talk about how long it takes to talk about a minute and then talk about that six times. If it happens okay. to take a minute to talk about how long a minute takes. Okay. Well, I think that a minute usually starts with one second. And then by the time you get to about five seconds in, it's like five seconds. Uh -huh. You can go after that to maybe like eight, nine, ten. How long is a ten second it. though? It's about from when I started saying you start with one, but now we're to maybe like 15 seconds. Uh, did you start timing me? <laughs> uh, I, not as accurately as I maybe should have. That's uh, okay. That's it. The joke is done. Just Good. like that hilarious joke on April Fool's Day. <sighs> Back to the past? Back, Back to, to the now. It's now. We can't go to the past. It's now. That's in the past. Oh, is it mail time? Mail time. Mail time. Oh, wait a mail second. Time. I'm just so confused. I don't know what it what the time is. It's time for not mail time. It's time for us to go to the us that already did the thing again. Mm, okay. But now. Now? Mm, no. Now. <gasps> it's time to be back from the mail. We are back from the mail. We didn't do a books or hip hop. Let's do a books or hip-hop. Was this Beware the Grey Ghost books or hip-hop? He destroyed a library almost. <laughs> but he was listening to 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> so it's up for the debate. I say this is a books episode, but in a good way. Yeah. Good books. There were more books than hip hop in like, this episode. What it was is that like I mean it's a book or hip hop at all hip book or hip hop -ometer. <laughs> Book or hip hop -ometer. And normally you're like, oh books is over here because yeah. it's like oh, of books. all the things and then the hip hop new is over here could not because understand. we're like <laughs> it's this. we're like hip hop, yeah. But this time it's like really good books or like really bad hip hop. All right. That's the answer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good books. Yeah. Let's get your prediction for the next episode. Okay, Are I got a ready? good one for you. Oh, no matter what I it is. I can't believe I didn't say Batman's origin story. Speaking there, of running gags. Yeah, there, was, <laughs> there was a decent amount of origin story in this episode. I missed so, so far, origin story-wise, yes, we've had, last episode, we had like a yeah. nightmare of his parents going into the alleyway, going blown up a by a gun. We had Strange Secret of Bruce Wayne where the floating gun killed his parents in his memory, and yeah. he went, ah, at the sky, I will be Batman. <laughs> uh, we had this episode where you see him watching Grey Ghost, show. and he yeah. gets influenced, influenced, influenced. By, he gets influenced by the emphasis. gray ghosts and the wrong syllable. He gets, uh, there's also, there was a bit in the nothing to fear episode where he's like seeing his dad everywhere going like, Hey, you fucking, you didn't do the thing. I'm yeah. so disappointed in you. And then also in two face. No, it was the same episode. One face. One face. Now I was, I was, conf I was confusing two. the two face nightmare where he's like, Help, you didn't save oh, Harvey yeah, Dent yeah, yeah. with the same Scarecrow episode I was just saying where he has a nightmare where his parents are like under a street lamp. Why couldn't you save us, son? And he <gasps> wakes up from that. Is that a good waking up sound? Super good. I've done that in like every other video I've made is wake up from a nightmare. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm practiced in it. Anyway, next episode is called Cat Scratch Fever. 
what Dow, what Dow Thost think this is. Okay. <laughs> My prediction is that it's going to be Red Claw, except this time she has tigers. Oh, wow. What an original <laughs> prediction. Thank you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just say it's a Catwoman episode. Uh-huh. Catwoman's origin story. Okay. <laughs> because I don't want to miss it again. <laughs> yes. It might break me forever. <laughs> I will tell you... Uh, no, I won't actually. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to give you Classic more Batman's Jamie. origin story clues, but I'm not going to. Okay. Okay, so that's your prediction is it's going to be Catwoman's origin What's it story. called again? Cat Scratch Fever. Cat Scratch Fever. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm sure that's a song or something. Cat, you don't know that song? I don't. I, I know. You going to play it? Get us uh, demonetized for this video. <laughs> something, something. So you sing the Blues Clues song every single episode. Play the Hey Arnold song, too. <laughs> A lot. Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. If you want to reach out to us like the fire hand at the ca- end of Cat in the Claw Part 2, at the end of At in the Claw Part 2, uh, reach out to us by... <laughs> oh, my God. I'm fucking this up so hard. Yeah, I have to keep not going. Look. Okay. <clears throat> If you want to reach out to us like the fire hand at the end of the cat and the claw part two, I had my text to speech take over for me. Good job. Email us at podcast at symbol watchtower database.com. That's all you oh, get. All right, cool. Thank or you. Whatever. Podcast at watchtower database.com. You can also go to anchor.fm slash batwagon. Send us a voice message. Send us a voice message. We'd love to hear your voices. We want to hear other people's voices rather yeah. than like just us two break up the monotony well i guess we had kimmy no that was dylan pollock dylan pa I new meant, episode <laughs> i meant dylan pollock new episodes of the podcast are released every friday on the pod tower youtube channel as well as your favorite podcast feed i'm not going to list them anymore fuck that okay <laughs> just, you like a podcast feed it's probably there okay <laughs> let us know if it isn't yeah well i'll try to get it on there i if guess they like, wouldn't oh, know man, <laughs> what they're like trying to listen to it, but it's not on their favorite podcast. How are you uh, listening to this right now? They're not. Oh, they can't that's let us the know. Problem. Tell everybody you know, listener. Tell everybody you Shout know. Shout it from the rooftops. That jump on the I bat wagon. I jumped on the bat wagon, <laughs> and so should you. <laughs> you, you. They're in Box Canyon. <laughs> I'm ugly, and I'm proud. As well. <laughs> Thank you for listening, everybody. We'll see you next week for Cat Scratch Fever. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, listener. Thank you. Please make it out to Bruce. There you go, Bruce. Thanks, Mr. Trent. You know, as a kid, I used to watch it with my father. The Great Ghost was my hero. Really? And he still is. <laughs>